Our next performer, um, in the category for sports teams on his Facebook page, has nothing liked except for a page that is devoted to making Quidditch an internationally recognized sport. Please welcome Ethan Campbell Taylor. <laughs> Chris's pain, um, not the scoliosis, but, uh, or lack thereof, but um, in any case, uh, I'm surprised more people haven't mentioned this, but Valentine's Day was last weekend. Um, I, I'm really aware of Valentine's Day as Valentine's Day. For me, it's more like a reminder that my dad's birthday is coming up. Um, no, his birthday is February 16th, so when most people are going around saying, like, oh my gosh, I haven't got anything for my girlfriend yet, I'm thinking, oh shit, I need to get something for dad. <laughs> Which, and that shouldn't be a weird thing to have to do, but it often is. My freshman year, I was at Walgreens, I think on Valentine's Day. I was getting a birthday card for him, and I went up to the counter and gave it to the woman. She gave it this weird look, like, are you sure this is the kind of card you want to buy? I was like, yeah. Like, do you think people just stop being born in the middle of February? Or do you think I came in here looking for a Valentine's Day card and I failed to notice the giant bright red Valentine zone that takes up half your store? I'm not blind or in a coma. That's the only way I could not see that. Um, many of you know this, but for those of you who don't, the record, uh, which I write for, um, has a new editorial board which is really exciting. We've got a lot of new people. Uh, I'm now the video director, which is great. Uh, thank you. Um, I haven't actually made any videos yet, so, well, that's not true. It hasn't been released yet. I'm getting off topic here. Um, I was staff director last year. Uh, the staff director is the person who manages all of our panelists. They send out emails reminding people about dinners, uh, planned parties. This is just a long way of saying they're the most powerful person on the record. Uh, <laughs> That's not a joke. No, no, seriously, like, they, they think about it. But the staff director, like, that, just that title, that, that sounds like a legitimate thing. Like a staff director sounds like someone whose opinion is shared by most of the magazine. But here's the thing. Like, the staff director, no one actually knows who they are because they're not like, officially that high up on the record. Also, they send out all their emails from, from a staff director email, so no one really knows who their name is. So basically what this all means is that the staff director can destroy the entire organization with a single email. As I send a subject line like, don't vaccinate your children, it will turn them into immigrants. So then it's a bunch of like, list of ethnic groups and reasons why they're terrible, and like, links to men rights groups, use the word misandry a lot. Someone posts on overheard at Yale, and in two hours the record just does not exist anymore. And that's what makes them the most powerful person on the record, because it, it's just blackmail. And nothing happened last year without my at least tacit approval. Um, it's like giving the nuclear launch codes to the Secretary of Education. Um, related to this, uh, no one has ever been staff director twice. A lot of roles in eboards where they get repeated, like the same person will do two jobs. Uh, yeah, Chris, Chris for one. He's doing a great job as copy editor though, so you're welcome, Chris. Um, but no one's ever been staff director twice, and that may have something to do with the blackmailing thing, but in my experience it doesn't really come up that much. I think it's more that it's to keep the staff director from getting restless. Because a, a few weeks ago, I was sending out a happy fun time email, and I don't think anyone reads those. It's the same message every week, sent out the same day, the same time. I, mean, I wouldn't be annoyed with you if you didn't read them and you do get these emails, but I was thinking, like, if I put just a huge dick in the body of this email, would anyone notice? And I nearly sent that email with a penis in it. It came really close. It was a hard decision. Um, God damn it, Sam. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Uh, so our new staff director is uh, Chris's brother, Ben, and I hope that he shows similarly good judgment and not sending penises to 600 people at once. That's great. Um, that's all. That's my set, guys. Thank you, Ethan.
just to clarify something from his set, happy fun time is not like a weird, like, strange thing that the record does. It's just like our Thursday meeting that has a strange name. <laughs>